Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. In this video, we will discuss some of the top universities in the world, why they are so popular and why you should study there. Additionally, we will learn how to apply to these universities, their criteria and much more. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Let's start with the first university, ETH Zurich, Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. One of the top universities in the world for technology and the natural sciences is ETH Zurich. It is renowned for its top-notch instruction, fundamentally transformative research and for applying its most recent discoveries right away. ETH Zurich, which was founded in 1855, currently enrolls about 18,000 students from over 100 different nations. The fields of engineering, architecture, mathematics, natural science, system-oriented science, management, and social science are currently taught and researched by about 500 professors. Now let's understand top reasons to study in ETH Zurich. Facilities like loans and grants are available for existing students, various scholarships open to international students at bachelor's, master's, and doctoral levels are one of the reasons to study in ETH Zurich. Like Botanical Garden, ETH Zurich devotes its resources to creating a climate that fosters the development of global talent and innovation. At all organizational levels, the institution's bottom-up culture promotes high level of autonomy and accountability. Such a culture attracts the best of the best and offers the ideal setting for originally motivated people. However, ETH Zurich's outstanding graduates and alumni who number over 65,000 have formed more than 400 spin-off businesses, including Pregnolia and Telalytics. Now, we'll understand how to apply for ETH Zurich. There are two application windows for ETH Bachelor's program. Regular starts from 1 November to 30 April, late 1 May to 31 July. Then, apply online at e-apply for the Bachelor's degree program of your choice. You will receive step-by-step -step instructions as you complete the online application. You must print out the application form, fill it out and sign it before mailing at the admission office by the deadlines in order for your application to be accepted. Then your application will be processed after paying an application fee. Now let's understand about Imperial College London. So Imperial College London founded in 1907 is the only institution in the United Kingdom to strongly emphasize science, engineering, medicine and business. It is a top public research university. Here, 100 undergraduate courses from Imperial College London and 150 master's programs are available. The university represents 140 different nations, over 17,000 students, of whom 50% are Imperial College London foreign students. Now, let's discuss the top reasons to study at Imperial College London. So, Imperial College London has received the Gold Teaching Excellence Framework that is TEF. It is an award for its exceptional student accomplishments in education and learning. Out of all the universities in the United Kingdom, Imperial graduates earn the highest average beginning wage. It offers a variety of Imperial College scholarship to deserving students and is one of the UK's universities with the most general financial aid policies. Students who exhibit academic aptitude are given a scholarship worth 1000 euro INR 80,000 every year for up to four years. Now we will understand how to apply to Imperial College London. To be eligible for admission to Imperial College London, certain procedures must be undertaken. Apply to UCAS portal. This is for undergraduate college online system and postgraduate. Then fill up your details, upload the required documents, and pay the application fee. So, this is a simple procedure to apply for Imperial College London. Now, as we have understood about Imperial College London, now, so now let's understand about Harvard University. It was founded in 1636 and is a private league research institution. One of the most prominent colleges in the world, it is known for its richness, prestige and history. Within Harvard University, there is a close-knit undergraduate community called Harvard College. So Harvard is more than just a place to receive an education. It offers world-class faculty, groundbreaking research opportunities, and a dedication to a diverse environment of bright, talented students. Harvard's campus resources are unmatched and includes arts, 
athletics, service, libraries, and museum collections. Now, let's discuss the top reasons to study at Harvard University. So, financial aid officers at Harvard will ensure that your lack of ability to pay is not a barrier from attending the university despite the very generous financial aid package they offer. A piece of bazooka bubblegum can cost less than a Harvard education. There are excessively many resources available at Harvard. First off, with 17 million books and 55 miles of shelving. The Harvard library system is the world's largest private library system. Beyond libraries, Harvard has a lot of funding available to support your research, study abroad or a combination of the two. In my perspective, Harvard has the best of all worlds because it is a city, a college town and its own college. Harvard has its own complete campus while being only a short distance from Boston. So now, let's discuss how to apply for Harvard University. So to apply for Harvard University, you must give the ACT or SAT SAT exam. After that, again, you have to give SAT two particular exam. Following that, there is a TOEFL exam in which the English proficiency is checked. You also need to have a letter of recommendation from the two teachers who have taught you. Documents including 10th and 12th mark sheet, etc. you have to submit. And they also check regarding the extracurricular activities. So if you have participated in any extracurricular activity, then you have to submit the details of that. Following that, you have to write an essay that you have achieved and what you want to achieve and why you want to join Harvard. When all of these documents are with you, then you can apply from two methods. First is early action and the second is regular decision. In early action, you have to apply before 1 November and in regular decision, you have to apply before 1 January. For admission, you can apply from three methods. First is common application, the second is coalition application and the third is universal college application portal. If you get selected, then you have to give an interview which can be online or some of their alumni will come and take your interview. So this was the procedure to get into Harvard. Now let's go ahead and understand about University of Cambridge. The institution of Cambridge was founded in 1209 and is a public university in to Harvard. Now let's go ahead and understand about University of Cambridge. The institution of Cambridge was founded in 1209 and is a public university in Cambridge, England. The university, which is the third oldest in the world, has constantly ranked among the top five. It includes 31 constituent colleges, 100 departments split into six schools, and focuses mostly on educating the humanities and social science, biological science, clinical medicine, physical science, and technology. So now, let's discuss the top reasons to study at University of Cambridge. Cambridge has a lot of culture to its name for such a little city. It has numerous museums in addition to the prominent art spaces like the Cambridge Junction and the Corn Exchange. The museum is home to stunning artifacts from ancient Egypt, medieval weapons and armor and more. The city and the nearby towns and villages make up high-tech hub known as Silicon Fen. When it comes to STEM sector, Cambridge punches much above its weight thanks to the established pharmaceutical research facilities as well as tech startups. Let's understand how to apply at University of Cambridge. So first is course selection. So choose a course you are personally interested in and will thoroughly like to study because you will be studying at a very high level for several years. Second would be application submission. To apply for UCAS you must do so. Earlier or later deadlines may apply for mature students foundation year and organ scholarship applicants. If you are applying for the graduate course in medicine, there is a supplementary application form. The universities of Cambridge and Oxford cannot accept applications in the same calendar year. A transcript of records will be sought from some applicants. Then there is written assessment. So the majority of applicants must complete a written admission test. So if you are selected for an interview, your chosen Cambridge college will organize some assessments while others require you to register in advance through an authorized assessment center. Then there is interview. Everyone with a good chance of being offered a place is invited to attend an interview. So as you have understood about the University of Cambridge, let's go ahead and understand about Stanford University. So located in Stanford, California, the well-known Stanford University is a private research institution with a significant outcome. Simply put, if someone is accepted to Stanford, they should accept it without question because of the uni's low acceptance rate of just 4.8% and its generous financial aid policies. 
you need to look no farther than the vast list of well-known businessmen started by Stanford alumni like Google, Hewlett Packard, LinkedIn, Yahoo and Sun Microsystems to get an understanding of just how competitive Stanford is. Now, let's have a look at the top reasons to study in Stanford University. So Stanford is a home to some of the best professors in the world with the top academics in a range of subjects. Stanford recently ranked among the top five colleges in United States, News and World's Report's most current list of the top value colleges, which takes into account both the cost of attendance and academic standards. Stanford should be inexpensive for the majority of students, even though the school promotes its total cost as being over $60,000. Now, the social life at Stanford University. So students assemble every fall quarter for a full moon on the quad, a drunken welcome from the upperclassmen to the new freshmen. And to check out the geek scene, at Sigma Alpha Epsilon's Back to School Start or Kappa Alpha's Roaming Nomad Party. And there are numerous other reasons to study at Stanford University. Some of the top courses at Stanford are Artificial Intelligence, Biocomputing, Bioinformatics and Biotechnology, Computer Systems, Cybersecurity, Data Analytics, Mobile or Web Application, Software Engineering. So now, Let's understand how to apply at Stanford University. So you must use either the common application or the coalition application to apply to Stanford as a freshman. Your ACT or SAT scores must be submitted. A school report, a report from your guidance counselor, two teacher recommendations, official transcripts and a mid-year transcript for your senior year are also required for your application file. In the collation application, you will be given access to Stanford questions. After you have finished, submit your application by the deadline required for the process you have chosen. So this is how you can apply for Stanford University. Now let's understand about the University of Oxford. So the University of Oxford is a university research institution with 38 constituent colleges that principally impart knowledge in the areas of technology, biology, clinical medicine, physical science and the humanities and social science. It is the oldest English speaking university in the world, although the exact year of its founding is unknown. Now, let's have a look at the top reasons to study at University of Oxford. So Oxford University is a well known for its outstanding academic facilities gives its undergraduate students the chance to join one of the world's most renowned and respected faculties as well as close-knit academic community. Oxford also ensures that no deserving candidate is passed over due to financial difficulties. As a result, it provides its students with financial aid like scholarship programs. An Oxford University degree is highly valued by the employers in the employment market. The civil service, law, banking, the arts and publishing are among the industries where jobs are most prevalent according to studies. Now let's look at the application process for the University of Oxford. So first of all, choose the course. You must make this choice first and foremost. So consider all of your possibilities carefully. Your time at university will be a lot more pleasurable if you are studying something you truly enjoy. Step would be choose a college. So choose whether you want to submit an open application or one of the preference for a certain college. Then the admission test. These are a critical part of many courses evaluation process. By September 30th, make sure you are enrolled and have your test candidate entry number. Then there is UCAS application. To apply for admittance in 2023, begin working on your UCAS application as early as June and submit it by October 15th, 2022. After that, there would be interviews like in December 2022, candidates who made the cut for admittance in 2023 will be participating in an online interview. Then the decision. On January 10, 2023, those who have been interviewed will learn if they have been given a place. Then their results. Your support will be guaranteed once you have gotten your exam results and fulfilled the requirements for your offer. So this was the procedure to apply at the University of Oxford, one of the most elite universities. Now let us understand about MIT. The private business school of MIT is known as the Massachusetts Institute of Technology or more commonly known as MIT Sloan School of Management. At MIT, there are graduate and undergraduate programs accessible. There are five academic institutions, the Whitaker College of Health Science and Technology, the School of Architecture and Planning, the School of Engineering, the School of Humanities, Arts and Social Science. Now, 
let's discuss the top reasons to study in MIT. So international enrollment at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology is remarkable. This is as a result of outstanding advantages it provides to its students. MIT hopes to draw and welcome a large number of well-known corporations including Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Amazon and others. After graduation, there is a significant rate of placement changes with these companies for the student who have direct exposure to them. So as we have understood the top reasons to study in MIT, now we will understand how to apply for MIT. So the student must submit all of the necessary paperwork for their chosen program at once. Fill out the application form with your information and then submit your bachelor's degree or equivalent transcripts. After that, for some courses, the students are required to provide documentation of their microeconomics or accounting background. In order to complete their application, students must provide supplemental materials and then submit the application fee wherever applicable. So this was the procedure to apply for MIT. So these were some of the top universities of the world providing top-notch education, outstanding chances for research and significant industrial exposure in practically every field of study. With that, we have come to the end of this video. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and keep learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.